Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Got me a beer today. I just want to share a couple of things I got with you for the last couple of weeks. Not, nothing much, just some fabrics and some little makeup. But I just want to share with you. So we're going to start about this, though. We're going to start with this. It was a reason why it's three dollars. Like I thought I was getting a deal. Walmart had it for twenty nine ninety nine. Something similar. It was a little better. It like the, the on the online. It looked the, the um, peacock looked more vibrant and everything. But I was like three dollars for thirty dollars. We finna work the three dollar one out. But unfortunately, you gotta know how to do math, right? Kids stay in school. You gotta learn how to do math because you gotta carry the one and add and subtract, and then you can figure out how big this is online. That ain't big at all. It's cute. So I guess I'm going to put it in my room. I love peacocks. I'm going to put it to use, but this don't make no sense. I was going to put it in the middle, but then it's so skinny that I'm, you know, I'm luscious. I cover up the whole damn thing, so I had to put it to the side just so y'all can see it. It's two peacocks. I love the feathers. I love peacock feathers. But you, I just can't believe it's that medium, but whatever. So that's one of the things I got for $3. The second thing I got was for $5, and I got this on, I got this online in Walmart. And it was a um, one yard for five ninety seven, and a five ninety seven is a lot for a yard. But I was just using this just for a head wrap. It's a silk um, or satin, one of them. I think this is silk, um, silver head wrap. And like to my opinion, silver and gold goes a lot of things. So you can have on all kind of colors. You put this silver head wrap on, it's gonna pop. In my opinion. But they end up giving me three three yards for five ninety seven. And I looked on there like, oh, I know they didn't charge me $15, 16 $18 for this because I didn't want that. But no, this is five ninety seven dollars for three rows. For those who you, so for those of you guys who sew and do all kind of things, like you can use it as a tablecloth, you can use it as a backdrop, all kind of stuff. But five ninety seven for three yards? You in there. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's kind of short. It covers from here to here, but it's like halfway there. It probably, it probably would have filled this whole video up, actually. But um, you can get a little more lint to it and you'd be alright. But I thought this was pretty nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make probably me a headscarf, my grandbaby a headscarf, and my daughter. We all going to be headscarfing one day up in here with this. That's what I say since it's so large. I might do other things with it. But anyway, this is another thing I got. Real pretty. It's real pretty silver. I hope you can see it. But let me turn on my light. Maybe you can see it better. There we go. Hold on. Okay, I got it on my light. I don't know if you can see it better. So now it's kind of blocking everything out. Okay. That's that one. And what else did I get? Oh, it just came in a little thing like that. This one came in that. Nothing special. And I got another head, a head wrap that I was using for a head wrap. And this is actually one yard, I believe. Yeah, this is one yard. So Wonder Woman, hey! I'm one of them. And I thought this would be fun for a hair wrap. You can make it's the material of like a nice soft pillow to me, but I think it's kind of warm, so I don't know how much I'll be sporting it in the summertime. But it's cute. I was going to make it a hair wrap with it. Maybe make a uh, cut off a piece and let Sparkle have a little banner or something. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. But I thought that was cute. And the next thing I got was I don't know if you guys noticed the backdrop I had in when I did these um these um locks I have. Y'all seeing them? They cute. I ain't did no baby hairs and nothing. I put little jewels and stuff in them, but they they cute. But anyway, when I first looked at this, I was like, oh my god, this is some cheesy stuff. This was like four dollars, I believe. And I was like, oh, no, this is not what it looks like. Like, to me, like, on camera, this light, ring light is making this pop. It's making this look like it's actually lighting up. But when, I, from, but when I'm looking at it, it looks very cheesy. And I'm like, ugh. But you get what you pay for. But when I put it up, it was giving me a little life. And I only have this ring light. I didn't have no other light. So I, I imagine once you put all your lights with it, it's going to pop a little more. It's going to do what it do. And it also, um... I'm trying to see, did this one come from Walmart on clearance? No, I got this on eBay. I think Walmart had one for $9.99, but I got it from eBay for $3. So I, I'm assuming it's the same one, so I might as well save some money. But I am going to invest in some of Walmart's um, online um, 
studio equipment because they have a lot of different backdrops. It's so pretty, so vibrant, full of color. Um, they got the pony, the unicorn ones on one of them. And then they got some elegant, more simple ones. And then the, the, the peacock ones they have, I, I got some vests, especially since this one was too small. I got to get another one. And the last but not least thing that I got is from Morphe. And I hear so much about this, this setting spray. Let me try it. So I wanted to get it. Now it was on sale. Well, it's $15, but it was on sale for $20, which don't make sense, but it's going to make sense when I finish. You got, what did you get with this? I think you got a brush with it. Something something you got with it, but I didn't, I didn't do it. I ended up taking that off and just getting this for $15, but I just want to see how this is right quick. Oh, it's fine. But I can't feel it. Is I'm tripping? Is this thing broken? I hope this thing ain't broken. Oh yeah, it has a nice, cool, refreshing scent, and it's a real fine. <laughs> like I can't, it's fine. So this, this did that. Okay, now I see why everybody talk about it. And then I got this. I wanted the purple, the blue, and the gold one, but you know my budget, so I gotta get a little bit of, a little bit of. So next time I probably get the gold or the purple. No, yeah, the gold or the purple. This time I got the blue one, and this is an eyeliner. And I always want to try. Because I see people putting the eyeliner, dapping it, and then smoking it out with blue or black. And it just look, it looks it looks nice. So I want to try that one day. I'm going to try that. But it's small. Like like I said, they tell you how much ounces is and everything. But fortunately, you got no math for that. But in the pictures make it look bigger. So I always go by the pictures anyway. I need to really read more. But it comes sealed. But the C is so small. Let me see if I can find one to compare. Okay, so I cannot find it. And I know I was an elf one, and I know it, was, it dried out, but I kept saying keep it because I see people on YouTube putting oil in it, and it comes back to life. So I thought I was going to try that, but I, I guess I just threw it away. But it was about the size of this. <laughs> this one right here, I like this one. This one is the business. It worked better than me than the elf one. And I'm pretty sure that one's way more expensive too, so you get what you pay for. But, um... Just for the people out there who know about math and know ounces and all I need to do is say is ounces and y'all get in your head, I'm going to tell you the ounces. But a person like me, I need, to, I need, I need you to show me because I'm one of them. It's 2.5 grams and it says 0 0.8 ounces made in China. Let's give it a swatch. So I guess, you, you know, it's so small, I guess you ain't, you ain't going to be able to um, dry it out because it's, you're going to use it. Let me see what I'm going to try it out on this. It's so pretty. It's kind of looking like a deep dark purple on here. It's blue. Look at that. That's pretty. I think I'm going to try to um, do my eyebrow. Oh, look at my eyebrows, y'all. I'm trying to experiment with color. So I got some purple mixed with a little bit of pink. I'm trying to um, experiment with color. I'm going to try this blue on my eyebrows too and see how that's going to work. Okay, that's cute. I like it. But I'm scared to kind of use it for my eyes. I feel like I'm going to run out of it, but it's cute. That was, um, is this $9? $9. And I want, like I said, I want the gold and um, purple. And what else? Oh, so the setting spray, eyeliner, and I got the Morphe palette, um, 15H Happy Hour palette. And when I opened it up and look at it, I, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I needed this. I mean, I could always build my collections. I don't have much. But I feel like all these colors I got in other Morphe palettes. Like, I got the um, 3502. And I think I got a couple of them. Let's see. Can't see. Can't bend this one back. I think I got a couple of these in the 3502 palette. And I got a couple of these palettes, these colors already. And the, um, the 24G palette, the Grand palette, whatever it's called. Is it 24G? Yeah. So I feel like I got some of these colors already. But they're pretty. 
So it's the same as the hard nice plastic. It has a nice big mirror, as you guys can see right here. And it has the names. It has the names on them. That's always a plus. Let's see the showing. Yeah, so we're gonna do some um comes three How many shades of 15? Yeah, that's why I call it 15. So I'm gonna do some swatches for y'all right quick, and that's gonna be in the haul. Everything else that I got, I already do put it on the kids or the fourth and all that other stuff. I, I should have did a haul on it, but I wasn't thinking. I've been kind of busy too. Let's do some swatches of it. On the rocks is the first one. It's like a beige, plain color highlight bone. Mix is the second color. And it's like a a light teriyaki color. Teriyaki. <laughs> Ah, tan, teriyaki, whatever. The, you know what I'm trying to say. The, the, yeah, that one. <laughs> and bubble, what is it? Bubbly, bubbly, B-U-B-B-L-Y. It's this one. And the bubbly looks kind of cute. Wherever, if I'm pronouncing it right. That's kind of cute. But I feel like I have that. And I'm going to look, I'm going I'm, I'm to, I'm going to look up the grand palette. Because I feel like I have that already. In these palettes. So I'm going to look it up and see. This next one is Bottoms Up. Now, I like this one. It's like an orange looking teriyaki. Why well, keep saying teriyaki? Terracotta. That's what I'm trying to say. A, a bright terracotta orange. But it didn't swatch it didn't swatch that good. Let me swatch it again. It's kind of patchy. Hmm. It didn't swatch that good. But it sure looks pretty in a palette. That color right there. See, everything's kind of getting washed out. That color right there is pretty. But I feel like it's kind of... It's not swatching that good. I'm going to try it one more time. You see, kind of patchy on my hand, too. It's streaky. And patchy. And that, that color was giving me life. I was like, okay, we're going to work with something out with this color. I don't know, it probably swatch better on the eyes. All right. The next one is Wingman. Wingman is pretty. It's like a burgundy with a hint of gold shimmer in it. That's pretty. Like I feel like I have that already too. Cheeks. Or cheers. Like I said, I can't read. Cheers. It's like a brown. Uh, that's streaky too. Oh no. Let's try it again, Lord. Nobody got time for this. I was going to get the other one too. But this one looked like it was giving me a little more life. Flirt is pretty. I feel like I got flirt. And a couple of palettes I got I got already. That feels like, you know, that um what is that? Burnt orange looking color. I feel like I have that in the um the 3502 and one of my Julie's face palettes. Rooftop. Now rooftop is pretty. But I feel like I have this one in my 3502 too. Hmm, maybe not. It's a little different. Hot spot. This comes in a lot of palettes. It's a gold. It's kind of giving me a duro cone. Let me try it again. Yeah, it's like a duro cone gold because I see some pinks in there. And that's the first row. This color kind of reminds me of a Duke of the Juvia's Place color Ooh. the one that has that um which one is it the one that has the um it kind of reminds me of this one but it's, it's totally different as you can see or is it this one I don't know let me try one more I'm always do this
and this is the last roll of the palette. This is called Trash Talk. Pretty and creamy. 5 p.m. Nice dark brown. I like the brown a little. So far, the last row is kind of giving me a little light. Snap. Try that again. It's kind of patchy. Manhattan. Ooh, this one dark. That one's going to darken up something. That's going to make it pop. Last call. Now, this is an even darker brown. Okay. So I like it, but it's kind of remind me of the 24G palette. So I'm gonna get that just to see if I'm tripping or not. Hold on. All right, here's my 24G palette. Ooh. That's what that one looks like. I can see some difference in it. it ain't it? Ain't really the same, but. It's kind of giving me the same vibe, if that makes any sense. And I only use this palette twice, so if I had to use it more, then I could probably tell you better. Oh, man, I just dug into my palette I scratched it and in my 3502 palette it don't look nothing like that but it was some similar colors to me and it's really not it's really not like that color I thought I had bottoms up it's not so I, I was tripping all the way around it does have the same coppers, but different different undertones, I guess. So, if you want this palette, go ahead and get it. It's only $15. <laughs> and I think if you buy both of them, you get a deal. And I should have went on and bought both of them. But I don't think I needed it. Like in my collection, I don't really think I needed it. But we're going to find out. I'm going to try it on this and, and go from there. The 25G palette is so much smoother than this. Like, I just um, swatched brownie just to see if it was similar colors and bottoms up. I know it's a different brown, but it's just so much smoother. Well, I wanted to get on here just to show you what I got. I had to get a couple of things, and I was a little excited about it, and I wanted to share with my YouTube family. So, to next time, deuces and stay blessed. I'll do it.